Hi everyone, so today we're going to be making this cute little container that you just carry a few shopkins around with you in. So yeah, we're going to make this really simple. Keep watching. So, what you're going to need is some sort of a container that like has a large enough opening that you can fit whatever you want to keep in it. In it, like I'm going to be using shopkins so you can just put them like inside, but I'm going to take my bag out for now. Oops, they're running away. Sorry, picking them back up before they get lost forever. So you need some snow container. I'm going to use this large Tic Tac container. You could use like a little spice bottle, whatever. You can open up and then fit your, whatever you're keeping in it, in it, obviously. This one has this opening, but very few Shopkins can fit in that, so I'll be able, mostly just be using this opening. So now you need this. I'm sort of like tape if you want to decorate with like this. Whatever stickers you have, I don't need it to go in. I can find it now, so I'm using these little Halloween ones. And then scissors, or they're optional. And you might not even need them. But you can either now, first to do is either you can take off the label or you can leave it. Like, obviously, the top part's gone because you, you open it. But I want to remove the whole thing. So I need to get my scissors and cut it so I can get it off. Because I think it'll just look cuter. And also, you can see the Shopkins better. And I have more, I look better with my stickers and stuff. Just gotta get this off. And not cut myself in the same process. So just work until you figure out a way to get this off. You just get a little slit somewhere. I don't know how to get this off. It's oh, there, maybe, maybe right here. Maybe I can get this under here. Just find a way to get the stupid wrapper off, however you can. I think I might have just found a place right here. I may have found one. I may, may, may have one. Yes, yes. Found a place. You can just get the wrapper off. Mine is coming out of a very thin strip for some reason. So you get the wrapper off, if you need to clean it or anything, go ahead. If you get like spice one, you might want to wash it out and everything. This is just Tic Tac, so it's fine for me. The first thing I need to do is just decorate it. You can do whatever you want. Tape, scissors, you could paint it, you could glue things to it. I'm just sticking with tape and scissors, or tape and stickers because it's simple, easy. Most everybody has some stickers or tape somewhere in the house. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap a strip of purple around this. Find the end of my tape. Got to pick at it until it comes off. So one annoying thing about tape. When it's not, if it's not on a roll, is having to pick off the end like this. So you get the end off like that, and you want to get it. You want to get it on there, straight. And you don't want to do it on like a curved place, or it'll get weird. You want to do it on a nice straight edge place. So I'm gonna do it right, right here. My whole top thing was coming off fun. I'm gonna do it right here. Right there, and you can just wrap it. You want to make sure you don't get like air bubbles or anything in it, because that just won't look as nice. If you get one, it's fine. Just try to avoid it by running your finger down the tape like this a bunch. Try to push them out if you can. You can either just wrap it once. I've got a couple of air bubbles. So I push them out somewhere. And if I get them, I don't really care. They're, they won't look too horrible. And you can either just go around once and then cut it off, which obviously my tape didn't quite line up perfect, so I got a little mess up here, but yeah, it's close. But you can also go around a second time if you want. It'll just make your tape more opaque if your tape is more thin, but most tape might just need one, but this one just works better with light too, because it's kind of see-through, you can like see light through it. So I want to just go around twice, because I do. Now I'm going to cut it off. Get the end all done. So then now I got tape on. You could stop here. You could just do that and then put shopkins in or whatever and you're done. But I want to put little stickers on it. So I have these little Halloween ones. Right in there. Just, there's just the same two sheets over and over. I'm going to use these little skulls because I think they're cute. I'm going to put the, want the green dude first. Put him. I'm going to put him right on the tape. That'll be cute. Him right here, right there. Now I want the little teal one. Little teal dude. Doesn't want to come 
off. He doesn't want to. He's like, no, I don't want to leave. And stick him right here next to the green one. Like that. You just keep stickering. Now I want the little orange skull. Stick him over here by the teal dude. Like that. And then I want the purple one too. Because I like the little skulls. They're cute. So there. I got little skulls. And then you can just keep stickering until you're all, until you are happy with how many stickers you have. So I'm gonna put more stickers on and I'll be right back. So I'm back. I got mine all stickered up. So I did those skulls there and I put the little candy corn here. And then I put the spider right there. And one on this side. And then I put the little bat there. And a little bat there. And then up here on the little place where it opens. I don't know if it happens in there. I put keep out. On the back here I put secret Potion because I just did. Over here I did a little candy corn. And then on the back I did this one that says treats only. This one that says meow with a little cat that's cute. A little jack lantern guy. And then this like rectangle one that looks kinda like him. And well obviously this one too. So yeah, that's what I did. And then it's open. I wanted to put one like right here in the front, but if you look very costly. Oops, my phone's off. It has this texture thing. This is price here and has this a like, grippy thing, so I couldn't really put one there, it wouldn't stay on very well. So I can do that. So now I can just take this, open it up, put my shotguns inside. And the cool thing about the tech tech one is it can be a little over full. I could even fit a few more in there because it can go up into the cover still, too. And then there, I have my little shotgun container. If you like simple little things like this to reuse things, like wait, my idea is things. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below any ideas you have, and subscribe. Bye!